Hey, what's up guys? It's Great for Technique back with another tech review. Um, so today we're going to be reviewing these uh, HD video camera sunglasses. Um, so I got these a bit ago um, because you know I was just interested in this kind of tech and uh, it seemed like it was a pretty good price. And so let's just jump right in. So let's talk about you know what comes with it. So it ships in this box. Uh, it comes with this little carrying case which has like I guess protective uh, plastic film and whatnot and a cleaning cloth. Um, it's actually a pretty decent carrying case, if anything, if you want to use it for anything else. Uh, it comes with a manual, which I'll explain later, and it comes with a, um, it's, it's not a micro USB, it's like a specialized, uh, like, specialized plug. Uh, if it can focus here, let's see. There we go. So you can see here, it's not your standard micro USB. So let's refocus. So here it is. Uh, let's talk about some features. Um, you know, for anyone with a big head, it may run a hair small in terms of width and whatnot. Um, but uh, it's pretty all right. It's made of a kind of has a tactile feel to it. Almost feels like a silicone mat, um, and uh, it has non-prescription, uh, very flat lens. So there's no distortion in view. Um, so let's talk about what buttons are here. Well, there's really one button. Uh, there's one button where my finger is, and that is the main multifunction uh, button. And then over here, over here is where you would insert the uh, micro SD card. Uh, and we're going to talk about that more later. And then there's also, if I can find it, hold on a second, it's just a little bit hard to see. And then over here, is where you'd plug in that cord. And so the maximum uh, micro SD card you can put in here is 32 gigabytes, um, though I highly doubt you would need anywhere close to that. Um, here is the camera lens right in the front. Obviously, it's a little hard to see because it's black on black. And so let's talk about operation, right? In order to turn this on, you just long press this button for three seconds, and then a blue LED will turn on. Okay? And you can't really see it on camera. However, this blue LED just flashed on. Okay, and it'll stay on, and that means it's uh, in standby mode. If you hold it for six seconds, again, hard to see. Um, however, that uh, turns the uh, uh, cam uh, the camera off. And so, while it's on, how you take a picture is uh, you would just short press it, and it will take a picture. If you want to take a video. Um, you just long press it for three seconds while it's on and it'll start taking a video and obviously to stop you just short press it again um, so One thing about this is that this is five megapixel camera. It obviously has no flash is that you need to be in good lighting in order to take a good picture or video of this. Uh, it's actually 1080p capable, so it's actually pretty good. The range is obviously a little short. Um, you know, don't expect a whole lot from this um, and then um, Other than that uh, in order to transfer data, you can obviously take out the micro SD card, and if you have a micro SD card reader, you can plug that right into your laptop. Uh, if not, otherwise, you can just plug it straight into your computer with this cord, and then open it up just like a USB uh, flash drive. Um, yeah, other than that, there's not too much more uh, to it. It's a pretty interesting product. I could see it being useful in, like, let's say, things like hikes and whatnot, if you don't need prescription sunglasses or just regular glasses. Uh, it's fairly comfortable. It's a little bit thick, obviously, on the side to hold the uh, battery. Um, one downside is that it doesn't come with a micro SD card, so you're going to have to purchase that. You don't need to get an expensive one, just get a regular one. And other than that, it's you know, a pretty good product. I'd re highly recommend it. And so this has been another Grapefruit Technique tech review. Uh, thanks, y'all, for listening. Bye.